my name is Rachel. I'm a freelancer in marketing. Uh, I switched from Adobe Illustrator to Canva for more reviews. Click on the link down below. So the problems that we're using to solve with both um, Adobe Illustrator and Canva is basically the design aspect. When it comes to my clients that I work with in the freelancing aspect, um, they're looking for something that is refreshing, something that's new, something that's unique when it comes to online marketing. And so Adobe and Canva are, are what we basically, is what I'm using for designing aspects and making sure that the products that I'm designing for them looks interesting and is something that people will want to look at. So for Canva, what's really amazing about it and what it's best used for is just the simplicity of it. I think the actual overall um, application is very well put together. I think there's a lot of options to choose from. I have the Canva like Pro one specifically, and I can really pick and choose different designs, different elements to really make the things that I'm making for my freelance side of work uh, really unique and special for each client, which I, I, I appreciate. Um, I also think that they have a lot of great features that a lot of the other, like Adobe, you know, has, but Canva is a lot more easier to use and is a lot more quicker to process than I think um, other Adobe products have specifically. Adobe Illustrator is really great for in-depth projects specifically. Um, if you're doing something that's really quick, like a quick graphic for Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, Canva is what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that's more in-depth and more, you know, bigger project, maybe uh, specifically a poster or a billboard or something like that, you want to go with uh, Adobe specifically. And I think Illustrator is great for that specifically when it comes to the overall product. Uh, between the two, when it comes to getting started, uh, Canva is much easier. All you really need is just a, you know, um, a login ID. You can, I think you can use up to like five for the pro service uh, aspect of it. And then you're designing and going from there. Adobe Illustrator is a little bit more complicated. You have the Adobe subscription that you have to use. Um, and it's typically, you need like a two authenticator sometimes. And it, it can just be a bit of a pain specifically when you're trying to get into a program quickly to get something done. Um, but both programs uh, have you know, pros and cons to, to use and uh, the ease of getting into something. So the top consideration what I'm looking for for when it comes to both softwares is ease of use, um, payment style, and basically uh, the different things I can use. Um, for Adobe Illustrator, it's pretty cut and dry. Um, it's very more graphic based. But when you look at Canva for specifically, you can do everything from videos, uh, small clips, uh, posters, uh, all sorts of things that you can do with Canva. And it's all in one spot. You don't have to go and hunt for things, which I think is fantastic. Uh, so the ease of the actual program is one of the top considerations I have. And the other thing is price. Um, unfortunately, we're going to a more subscription-based lifestyle, which is has its pros and cons in itself. Uh, Adobe used to be you could buy the programs all at once, and you would have it, and that was it. But they moved to the Creative Cloud Suite, which is an online subscription base. And of course, depending on where you're at in your lifestyle, if you're a student, it's a little bit cheaper, but if you're someone that's been in the industry for a while, it's a lot more expensive. So I think Canva, when it comes to the price of it, is a lot better for that consideration, what you should be looking for, if that's something that you need when it comes to being a freelancer or working in marketing specifically.